from around 100,000 years ago up until 12,000 years ago, much of the world was covered in ice. But as anyone who's seen Ice Age 2, the meltdown knows that Ice Age eventually came to an end and the glaciers largely retreated. The event, known as glacial termination, was driven by a number of factors, but now scientists think one of them might have been a huge release of carbon dioxide from the depths of the ocean. Just like water has a cycle, evaporation, condensation, etc., carbon has a cycle too, and the ocean plays a big part. The ocean absorbs about one-third of the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, and the balance between atmospheric and oceanic carbon is constantly shifting. Now, scientists think a major swing in that balance happened at the end of the Ice Age, moving carbon from the ocean to the atmosphere, which would have accelerated warming. Scientists used biological material found in sediment, which has accumulated on the ocean floor for thousands of years to track the shift in carbon storage. They were able to find the big carbon release probably came from a carbon reservoir deep in the southern ocean, the area of ocean around Antarctica. The researchers say the paper's findings might not completely account for the recorded carbon exchange, though, and other sources of carbon might still be found. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima.